Hi guys, welcome back to the channel, Jay here. In today's class, we're going to uh, continue with our Math 6 content, and uh, we're going to go through some more questions on surface area of prisms. So with that, let's get started. All right, so uh, here we are. Okay, so I put surface area of prisms, and actually drew a prism out here as well. So this is a rectangular prism, and I'm just going to give you uh, some of the values here. Okay, let's keep the values a little bit small. So I'll do nine centimeters for the length. And the width, let's do uh, three centimeters. And note again, this isn't to scale. Okay, so uh, we're just using some values. Okay, let's do the height as five centimeters. Okay, so say this is my rectangular prism. What you want to do is actually draw these dotted lines, okay? And what these dotted lines show here uh, is basically that the prism is 3D, okay? And so let's start off with uh, solving for each of the faces. So the surface area of the prism is going to be us solving for each of the faces and then adding them all together, okay? Uh, so what I always do is write down what it is that I am calculating. So let's try the front, okay? And uh, we'll put front and the back, okay, sides of this prism. If you take a look here, this is the front rectangle. Does everyone see that? Okay, so the values that I'm going to use here is the length, which is 9 centimeters, as well as the height, which is 5 centimeters. Okay, so when you write it here, okay, uh, I will write down what uh, two sides we are using. So we're going to use the length and the height. So I'm just going to write it like this, okay? But usually most teachers just want you writing area equals length times width. All right, so let's take the length. So we're going to do 9 times the height, which is equal to 5. Okay, does everyone see that? We're just multiplying these numbers together. 9 times 5, so 45 centimeters squared. And again, remember this is the front and the back. So we're just going to do 45, and we're going to times that by 2. Okay, which is equal to 90 centimeters squared. Okay, so this is the area for the front and the back that we did here. And then you're going to do uh, the area of the other two sides. Okay, so let's try maybe like the sides here. So again, if I'm looking at the side, I notice I'm just multiplying the width times the height. Okay, so let's write down the sides. Okay, or you can put like area of the sides okay so i'm going to put width times height okay and again it doesn't matter which one you're writing first okay but because i wrote down the width times the height i have to make sure in my equation i'm writing down the width first okay so i'm going to put two times five like this okay which is equal to 15 centimeters squared okay and again, if you look at our uh, the rectangular prism here, I have two sides. I have this side here, and then I have the side that's on the opposite uh, side as well. Okay, so we're going to take our 15. I want to times that by 2, okay, which is equal to 30 centimeters squared. Okay, does everyone see that? So we are almost done, okay? Uh, in our prism, the last... Um, sides we're calculating is going to be the top and the bottom. So if you look at maybe the bottom rectangle here, okay, I'm going to use the length, which is nine centimeters, times the width, which is three centimeters. Does everyone see that? Okay, so let's write it on this side going down. So I'm going to just write top, okay, and bottom. And we're going to do the area. Okay, and again, I'm just going to write length times width here, okay, which is again the standard formula for the area of a rectangle, and in this case, we're using 9 right here times 3, okay, so let's write it here, so 27, okay, centimeters squared, okay, everyone see that? And one more time, what we're going to do is just times this by 2. 
Okay, because again, we're looking at the top and the bottom. And this is equal to 54 centimeters squared. Okay, does everyone see that? Okay, and uh, you do have to show your work here, okay? So let's write down, maybe on this side here, we'll write total surface area. Okay, and the total surface area is basically going to be you adding uh, all these numbers together. Okay, so we're doing 90 plus 30. Okay, and then plus the 54. So maybe still write it here. Okay, and when you add that all together, we're getting 174 centimeters uh, squared. Okay. And uh, that's your final answer. Okay. And so again, I should make sure I'm showing all of my work on the side here. Okay. So you notice we're just finding the area of all the faces. Okay. Because the actual um, sides are the same on the opposite um, sides there, you can just times each of your values here by two. Okay. There should be six faces all together here. Okay, and then you're adding all of the faces together. Okay, are there any questions there? Okay, so that looks good. Let's go to uh, the next type of prism. So this was the rectangular prism. Okay, and let's try. Okay, let's try also a triangular prism here. I'm going to put example. Okay. Uh, remember, you can actually draw the triangular prism in different ways. Let's draw this one. So it looks like this. And again, I'm just going to put some dotted lines uh, just in case you're having some trouble visualizing it. Okay. And I'll give you some values as well. Okay. So right here, we're going to do, let's do something small. So let's do nine centimeters. Okay. And uh, let's do two centimeters for this length. For this um, prism, I'm going to give you all the sides. I will do 10 centimeters. Okay. And I'll give you one more side here. Let's do five centimeters. So sometimes the teacher will give you all of the sides that you need, okay, to calculate it. And sometimes the teacher might not. Okay, so let's try this one. So I'm going to start with the triangles, okay? So let's put area of triangles. Okay, so recall the area of a triangle is base times height divided by 2, okay? The base is going to be 9 times 5. All right, divided by two. So we can use a decimal here, which is all right. So we're getting 22.5 centimeters squared. You're going to times this by two, okay, which is equal to 45 centimeters squared. So again, we're timesing it by two. We see two triangles. There's this one in the front. Okay, and then there's also this one that's in the back here. Okay. So if you look really closely at the diagram, let's try the bottom rectangle. Okay, and you notice the two values we're using is 9 times 2. Okay, so I'm just going to put base. So we're doing length times width. So 9 times two, so 18 centimeters squared, okay? And now you notice that the base, okay, only has uh, one section here in terms of the rectangle. I'm not gonna multiply it by two, okay? Let's try the back rectangle here. You notice I have five. This uh, section here is two centimeters, so I know that this is two centimeters as well. Okay, so let's write it over here. So we'll do the back rectangle and the area for it. Okay, make sure you're always writing down the formula, okay, before you substitute it inside. 
So we're going to do 5 times 2. So we're getting 10 centimeters squared. Everyone see that? Okay, so we're still not done. Okay, if you look, there is actually one more rectangle here. This is the top rectangle, okay? So let's write that here. So I'm going to put top rectangle. The area is length times width. So again, I'm going to just multiply here. 10 times 2, okay, which is equal to 20 centimeters squared. Okay, everyone see that? So you can see I have two triangles here, okay? And there are actually um, three rectangles, okay? I have the base rectangle, I have the back rectangle, as well as the top rectangle, okay? So that's why we drew the dotted lines here, so you can see all the faces. And there are five faces altogether in this triangular prism. And let's put our total. surface area okay and uh, I'm just going to put equals so let's do 10 plus 20 plus 45 plus 18 okay make sure you do check okay that you're getting um, the exact correct answer okay and you're adding all of the faces and the areas together okay and we are getting 93 centimeters squared okay does everyone see how to do that and this is the total surface area this is my final answer so we'll just box it here okay so the surface area one more time is just basically you finding the area of all of the faces together okay you have to add all the areas together and that is the surface area so surface area means the area that is found outside okay, of this um, object, uh, whichever kind of prism you're using here, this is a triangular prism. Remember that the triangular prism can actually be drawn in various um, ways. This is just one of the triangular prisms that's used quite often, and you might see it in the textbook as well, okay? And here we were just using some very uh, simple numbers, just so everyone is okay with calculating the area of all the sides, all right? Okay, so that looks good. And if there are no questions, that does bring this video to an end. Thank you so much for watching. Please make sure you do like, share, and subscribe to the channel. And I will see everyone in the next video. Thanks. Bye.